So, as he reached his village, his heart was filled with a cold feeling because he did not have any. So well, he did not have any. You can say any hope that he would meet his family as well as his family members. Some of their belongings, like some of the things of the house, they found to be mangled, mixed with, and they were found twisted on the branches of the trees, just visible above the dark waters. Young Prashant decided to go to the Red Cross shelter to look for his family. So then Prashant, where he has gone, he has gone to Red Cross shelter in order to look for his family. Among the first people he saw in the crowd was his maternal grandmother. So maternal means from the mother's side, grandmother means his nanny. So when he reached that Red Cross shelter, the first person whom he met there was his maternal grandmother. She was weak with hunger. She rushed to him, her hands outstretched. See, she stretched out her hands in order to welcome him and her eyes, they were brimming with tears, filled, completely filled with tears as she has also lost the hope that they would ever meet Prashan. It was really a miracle. It's like a dream come true. They had long given him up for dead and they thought that Prashant had to be dead. Quickly this word spread and his extended family. Extended family means because it is not uh, a single person like parents only but the other uncles and aunts also who are included in the family. So this word means this news this spread quickly that Prashant has come back. Soon, the other members of the family. Soon, the other members of the family. They also gathered around him, and they were all surprised to see Prashant there. So ultimately, they ran towards him. Prashant was anxiously scanned as. He was the only person who survived this kind of destruction. They hugged him tight in relief and Prashant anxiously scanned the motley. Motley means crowd, group of people, battered group. Battered means they were not in normal condition, destroyed condition. His brother, his sister, his uncles and aunts, they all seem to be there. So he has looked them. So by the next morning, as he took in the desperate situation in the shelter, he decided to get a grip over himself. So he has seen the very poor condition, pitiable condition of the people in the, in the Red Cross shelter. So now he thought that he has to control himself also because he knew that it is not easy to overcome this kind of destruction. He sensed a deathly grief settling upon the two 2,500 strong crowd in the shelter. Deathly grief. Deathly means it was just that kind of silence. Everyone's faces lowered down with sadness that they thought that there is no other situation left for their progress. So now, this kind of silence was again prevalent in the Red Cross shelter. All the 96 houses has been washed away. All the 96 houses of the area, they have been completely destroyed. It was their fourth day at the shelter. So now what it was, it was their fourth day at the shelter. So far, they had survived on green coconuts, but there was too few to go around. Such a tumult of people. So they have survived now till now they have only survived only on green coconuts but few there were too few to go around such a tumult of people but those coconuts were not sufficient to fulfill the needs and requirements of the people so ultimately they have to find the solution in order to overcome it so how they have found the solution prashant all of 19 years Prashant was only 19 years of age. 
he decided to step in as the leader of the village so what he decided he decided to overcome as the leader of the village if no one else did he organized a group of youths and elders to jointly pressurize the merchant once again to part with the rice so he as a leader of the village what he did he collected he gathered the young people around him and they tried to pressurize the village merchant that the mer that the rice or the other grain that he has stocked he must let people use it for eating 